Okay, the first pancake's always the worst. It looks like it says one D R. Uh, one D R. Uh. Have you ever seen someone flip a spatula with a spatula? <laughs> to a New Life Youth vlog. Today, we have another challenge for us. We're gonna be making pancake art. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe so you keep up to date on all of the new videos we're rolling out. And the rules are simple. So we have 30 minutes, and whoever makes the best pancake art wins. And our special guest judge is... James. Hi everyone. For your pancakes today, I'm expecting story, I'm expecting creativity, and I wanna be impressed. I wanna look at the pancake and say, wow, I could not do that. Ready, set, go! Yes, indeed, let's go! I think I'm gonna do um, a portrait um, of some description, like a live, laugh, love type of vibe. I watched a total of one video on how to do pancake art, so I'm feeling pretty confident. My strategy, Jane's looking for storytelling and creativity. So I'm gonna do a storyboard of me winning the competition. Like that's my pancake art, is me winning. For those of you who don't know, James and I actually went to the same school together, and so I'm gonna go <laughs> and think of my earliest memory of James, meeting James. And the first time I ever remember meeting James was in Midsummer Night's Dream. And so I'm gonna create Midsummer Night's Dream. My pan's currently turned off, but- Hang on, hang on, did you just call this a pan? Uh... I'm pretty sure that's a toasty maker. Mine is currently not turning on, um, which makes it a little bit hard to actually cook the pancakes. Okay, the first pancake's always the worst. This is James's pan, so I think he kind of stitched me up because it's not working. I'm such an emotional <laughs> <laughs> I could just draw in the pan, I guess. Currently, Courtney's eating the pancakes that she failed, and Emma's pan is not working. So, by default, um, I'm doing amazing. I'd like to show you my frame. Uh, like, I've got flipped. I flipped that. Yes, it broke, but I flipped it. I flipped it. I work really good under pressure. Um, I think after last week's vlog, kind of build a reputation as being the underdog. When people get given the label of the underdog, Australians automatically just get on board with them. Like, what about the person who just is really good at winning? Why not vote for them? I'm yeah. pretty impressed with all three of them. They've all got different obstacles. Courtney, I mean, her obstacle is her emotions. Emma, obviously, didn't have a working fry pan until just then. Emily, well, she's cooking pancakes with a toasty maker. I'm very satisfied that I'm the first person to have um, a solid piece of my pancake art. I went to art school, drama school, so it doesn't really count. Okay. Damn. Damn. That's so good. That's annoying. I was going to do it! Hey. <laughs> hey. uh. Emily, what even was your original plan? I was going to do like a cross equals love, you know what I mean? Um, but then curious? I thought... How many times do you have to fail before you realize that it's just Connie, how are you going to flip one that's that big? <laughs> and that's the life lesson. See, we've already got a narrative moral arc for this video. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again and it doesn't work, but you keep doing it, like, you tell me what the problem is, because I think it's you. <laughs> I think I have a good idea now. I'm going to make a family portrait. <laughs> what family? <laughs> No Simpsons? When I turn it around, it's gonna be like amazing. It's gonna actually like turn it around. No, it's not because the dude is gonna be the back to front. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 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 This could work. Nicole looks more like a blob than anything else. I'm sorry, Nicole. Have you ever seen someone flip a spatula with a spatula? <laughs> it looks like it says one D R. One dia. That's what makes you beautiful. The frame doesn't move. Um, it's glued down to the plastic now, so um, now I have almost no creative freedom. We're gonna make a little thing here, and it's not gonna move. And I'm redoing my letters that were backwards, so hopefully there's some redemption. Don't lose faith in me, James. You, you had high hopes. Keep those high hopes. <laughs> Um, this is my medal for when I win. I'm gonna wear it. Finally got to eat my pancake because I got to eat the letters that were backwards, so I'm having a great time. <clears throat> Do you like my medal? Looks pretty good. Like, not to toot my own horn, but I don't mean to brag. But that is actually good. It's not good. It's a face. You'll find out whose it is in a little bit. Um, take a guess if you'd like to in the meantime. All right. Time is up, challenge is over, we have our three creations. Now, I get to go judge and whatever I say goes because I'm just important like that. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Emily, 
What have you created? Why is it so amazing? Talk to me. Okay. Okay. I feel like I need to explain this because it's, yeah. like, it's a bit Explain. Amazing. Please explain. So, it's a frame. Uh-huh. And it says Judo in the middle. Emma Perry, congratulations. Um, what is what is happening here? Um, so as promised, this is the scene of me winning. Me wearing my first place medal. Um, holding my spatula, flipping a pancake with the letter E on it. Um, E for Emma. And then this is James, and he's like really surprised by my amazing pancake abilities. He, this is him going... Moving on. <laughs> Corny, would you kindly stop eating your creation <laughs> and explain to me what is going on here? So James, this is what I think. So this is a portrait, family portrait of your family. So there's you. There's Jesus in the center of it all. And then there's Nicole, and she does look pregnant. I'm not saying anything, but... And then there's little baby Judah here, little squishy face. And then down here, James, we actually have a game for you to play right oh, now. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, so this is a word scrabble. A few moments later. Smashed. <laughs> it. James is the best. Crushed it. Well, I'm very impressed. Um, I'm flattered by all the kind words everyone has said. Uh, it was a good, fair challenge. Um, but third place. Without a doubt, must go to Miss Emily Spence, everybody. Um, how does it feel to come third? Well, I mean, at least I got third. I think it's still, it's just good to place, you know? Now, to be honest, first place, um, I would love to say that this was a difficult choice. I am competitive. I do think that I'm the best mm -hmm. in some areas of my life. More than anything, I love it. When the underdog wins. When people embrace who they are, when people have confidence in themselves, and when people prophesy their ability to win. So first place, Emma Perry! Thank you. Um, I did it for the people. I did it for all you kids at home. I hope you're proud of the underdog. Hashtag, yeah. at least it's not cool. Hello darkness, my old friend. I'm such an emotional video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this week, youth. I'm super stoked to take out the W. Maybe next week, Emily, Emily will have a little bit better luck. Maybe, but for now, Maybe. make sure you like and subscribe and um, hit the notification bell so that you can see when we post our little challenges. And um, yeah, can't wait to see you next vlog. Bye! Bye. I'm such an emotional video. <laughs>